welcome back to my youtube channel and you are watching planning and project control hub in today's video we will explore one of the most powerful tool and prime of rp6 the global change function which allows you to apply the bulk changes in your schedule with just few steps sometimes you need to make many changes and to do that changes manually as very time consuming and laborious job so today we will learn about the most powerful function and the prime of rp6 which allow you to do many changes just in one time so let's start our today's session So first we will do the duration reduction where we will reduce the duration of the activities by half. If you start reducing the duration manually it will be very difficult and time consuming. So just follow me and learn the simple tips and tricks. So just write down the duration here it's uh, 254. Now we will reduce the duration only for the not started activities. Come here to the tools, global change and new. Should be activities here just rename it duration reduction okay now apply the condition here activity type it should be task dependent activity status It should be not started and write here the result so I need to reduce the original duration should be equal to original duration divided by 2 because I need to reduce the duration of the not started activities by 2 right 2 Okay, remove this one. Do changes, format changes. No need to save the log file. So it's done. If you see here, the duration is reduced from 254 to 245 because there are very less activities which have the status of the non started because this project is already ongoing and very less activities are left behind. So by this way, we can reduce the duration by using the global change function very easy and it's very time saving. Sometimes we need the recovery schedule where we have to reduce the duration and ramp up the resources to bring back project to original milestone. And this phenomena is also called the fast tracking. So the duration for the non static activities we have already reduced and now we have to ramp up the resources. Go to the tools, global change, open new and it should be activity resource assignment, rename it resource ramp up, add the condition, resource type, it should be non labor. For the non started activities, we will use the remaining duration. So remaining duration. It should be more than one day. Remove this one and add the result here. What you want, add here. So I need budgeted units per time. Is equal to budgeted units per time. To the operator, it should be two. As we reduce the duration by 2, so we have to ramp up the resources up by 2. So do changes, omit changes, no need to save the log file, so it's already done. Okay. So our resource has been ramped up. So by this way, using the mobile change function, we can do many changes just in a few steps. So that's it for today. If you find this video useful, please give it thumbs up and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more helpful videos and insight. If you have any questions or want to see more videos like this, just write down your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Be happy and see you in the next video.